The Anglican primate of South Sudan, Archbishop Justin Bardi Irma, has called on politicians in the country to make peace a reality and not just a paperwork. He reiterated that the peace initiatives in the country are welcome development, but that the politicians need to do more to turn peace on paper into peace on the ground. He made this known during a visit to the Anglican Communion Office in London where he also expressed his gratitude to Intergovernmental Authority on Development and other regional bodies for their efforts to bring peace and stability back to South Sudan. He expressed optimism that the truth and willingness peace will prevail in South Sudan. We are grateful to IGAD and all the regional bodies for the effort they are doing to bring peace and stability back to South Sudan. And we very much appreciate the recent development in the signing of uh, the agreements in Khartoum. But as a church, we do believe that uh, peace is not something on paper. Peace is a practical reality on the ground, which does not just come up with the signing of papers. And uh, our own assessment as the church in South Sudan is that there is much to do to bring the political will amongst the leaders so that truth is said and then there is a true reconciliation and the forgiveness that will give room for a real peace in South Sudan. But otherwise, political peace on paper is what we are doubting. We are very optimistic that uh, if we take the line of truth, saying the truth, talking the truth, then uh, that will happen. But if we continue just uh, to uh, put a mask of politics, then uh, everything will just end up on paper. Archbishop Badi Arama confirmed that the current peace talks and agreement is causing unrest in South Sudan as the people are in doubt following 2016 peace signing that actually resulted into much violence. The people of South Sudan actually are doubting because uh, since from the start of the peace uh, we learned our lesson as South Sudanese uh, in 2016, after the signing of peace, which was without political will, then again there was much violence. That's why we are doubting this time some of the parties have put their signature and some are doubting that really creates a real doubt within the hearts of uh, all South Sudanese. Though we do understand that uh, some of the parties are being forced to sign, but uh, that is not a solution.